David Bennell, Hearts Technology Coordinator, uh, just going over some few some tips. This one is how to add a Google Doc to your Schoology assignment. This also works for Microsoft Docs, Microsoft Sheets, all those kind of things. This is this is the, this technique will will create a Google Doc for each student. So if you have you want to have a, a sentence starter for a paragraph, you write the sentence starter on a doc, save that doc to Google Drive, and then upload it to uh, and then connect it to your Schoology assignment. So the, the process, you need to have be logged into both your Schoology and your Google Docs. I'm already logged into both already. So here I am in my sandbox. This is my, the, a sandbox is a class that you create that just has no students. It's you know, only yours. You create it to develop in, in, so you can develop classes and, and resources in it. So here is, uh, oh, not this one, sorry. It's the other one. Um, go back to materials. Uh, here is assignment I already did. So first, when you do when you create an assignment, it will look like this when you save it. If you don't add a Google Doc, up here will be a button that says uh, submit uh, submit assignment, and which is kind of a misnomer because you're actually doing the assignment when you click the button. Some students get confused about that, but. Submit assignment opens up a, a little window with three tabs. One tab says uh, upload, one tab says uh, compose, and I can't remember what the third tab says. I don't look at that all, the, all that much. Um, and the, the editor in, in Schoology works okay. The grading when you create a, an assignment that way is a little bit different than the grading when you create a Google Doc assignment. So I'm gonna show you, I can't really show you that one, don't have anything set up. Uh, at the moment. Um, so here's, this is a plain assignment that that would, would use the Schoology editor. So let's go back to, by clicking on this link right here, it takes us back to the folder, and we'll go to this one. Now this is what it looks like if you click a button that says, add a Google Doc. This is what it looks like. You see, here's the, uh, like a, a sample of the doc. Here's the actual a link to the doc. Uh, when the student creates, so the student will see, like a create button and once they click on that it will create a Google Doc in their own Google Drive and you can edit the document outside the Google Drive you can edit the doc uh, out, outside Schoology or in Schoology so here's nobody's of course doing it here's in progress so students that had started but not finished would show up here so you could watch and then live you could watch it just like a regular Google Doc you can watch the editing go on Students that have submitted would appear here, and you can go and you would be go and go through and grade them, and the assignment looks like this. Now let's <clears throat> well, let's back out to oops, I backed out too far. So let's back out and look at that, and we'll go with the one that didn't have it first. So to edit the document, so here's the assignment. The assignment's all set up. I've got my assignment all typed in, and here's whoops, it's not showing. So we'll not use that one. We'll use this one. Down here will be two buttons. One button will say Google Docs. One say will say um, will say Microsoft. You click on this. It takes you to your Google Drive. And I'll go back out because I was unprepared. Um, go back out to here. And now I did this one. All right. So here's an assignment that doesn't have a Google Doc. If I click on Edit, this is what I'm talking about. The assignment's been edited. I've set it all up. It looks beautiful. And I click on Google Drive Assignments. I've already, in my Google Drive, created a document I want to add to this. So now I'll go to Scroll down to Schoology Master Copies. I'll scroll down to, oh, let's say I'll go to Filmmaking, is it something in there? And now if I click on this, it will add that Google Doc to this assignment. And then the students will see that other assignment window and they'll be editing using the Google Doc. Now the advantage to this is the Schoology editor sometimes will lose student work when they click Submit or click Save as Draft. There's some weird thing about the timing in the Schoology editor that they can be, and I've done this before, and it, and it also happens when you're creating assignments. You're working, you've worked for an hour creating an assignment, and you click submit, and it 
has a, the Schoology has a conniption and you lose the assignment. So I always tell my students when they're doing a composing in the Schoology editor to copy their text, copy the text of the assignment, and then hit submit. And if it submits, great. If it doesn't, they can always log back in, go back to the assignment and just paste their work in because it's in the clipboard. But here's where you attach. Now, going over to the, the whoops, cancel. And we'll cancel out of that. Um, going back to the, the Google Drive side, um, I've set up folders so I have very few, because when you log on, you log on to your root folder in Schoology. I did have like a hundred different things in my root folder, which meant that I had to scroll down and try and find my Schoology Master Copies folder. Now I've reorganized my Google Drive so there's only like 20 things. It makes it much easier to find my Schoology Master Copies. So here's my Schoology Master Copies. Inside Schoology Master Copies, I have a folder for each of my, my subjects. And so now I just have to go into filmmaking and here, and this is where I would create or save all the documents I made. Let's say I want to make a document for a new assignment. I would come here, click on new, click on, whoops, that's new folder. I would click on it. Why is it going to new folder? So I would just right click down here. So right click down here, new Google Doc. I would create, create my new Google Doc in the folder, create my, my resource, and then I can add that easily to Schoology. It's just an extra step. But being organized on the Google Drive side makes it much easier when you're in your Google or in your Schoology to add that Google Doc to the to the um, assignment. And that's it. Just a quick it's a quick little tutorial how to add a Google Doc to a Schoology assignment. Thank you very much. And scene.